Many federal programs are at risk of losing funding during this shutdown, including the Department of Agriculture, which administers what are commonly called food stamp programs. Hundreds of thousands of Alabamians received SNAP benefits and were at risk of going hungry when the program ran out of money at the end of this month. Way 31 Sarah Singletary is live in Huntsville to walk us through how the program is staying funded now and how the decision is impacting a local nonprofit. Dan, according to the SNAP website, more than 850,000 Alabamians were receiving SNAP benefits every single month in the year 2016. Now, even though that data is a little bit old, it was the most recent on their website. It does give us an indicator of how many people will be impacted by this decision to keep SNAP funded through the month of February. That includes the Food Bank of North Alabama. I was so excited to hear that. It's a win-win for Laura Fincher. That's good for the people we serve and for the food bank. By using what's called a continuing resolution, the United States Department of Agriculture found a way to fund the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP. States can now request their SNAP benefits be released early. According to the Department of Agriculture, they've let states do this before when they know a natural disaster is coming and evacuees need early access to their benefits. The office said it's not aware of the method ever being used during a government shutdown, but they said the continuing resolution is what guarantees the government will release the money. Money, meaning people will get their February benefits by January 20th and the food bank won't find themselves in a pinch. So that would really put a strain on us trying to meet the demand for all the food needed. Fincher said the food bank gives food to about 250 total groups that in turn distribute food in their communities. So those groups could have seen their the demand of the people that they're feeding, you know, double or triple or quadruple. A tall order. She's thankful they won't have to fill for now. It's definitely going to be a good thing for us and that we can continue to meet the demand that we're meeting right now, but not see a huge increase in demand for food assistance. As of now, SNAP funding through the month of March is still up in the air. This continuing resolution that's allowing funding through February is a one-time deal. So that means if the government shutdown extends longer than the month of February, the government's going to have to find another way to keep SNAP funded. Reporting live in Huntsville, Sarah Singletary, Way 31 News.